It's a big day in the Gump Town as far as recruiting. We got Cliff Fitzpatrick coming in all the way from Connecticut. We got Josh Avery all the way from Utah, four-star cornerback, looking to make his official visit today. Kevin Wilson from Glenpool, Oklahoma, another cornerback, all three are four-stars. And what perfect time for these cornerbacks to come in and see us take on a team that never passes the football like the Bethune, Cookman, Wildcats. They love the option. They will live and die by that option. They rarely pass the ball, despite the fact they do have a good quarterback. I think he's a pocket passer quarterback, by the way. So here we are. We're at 5-0. and It's rainy, gloomy here in Montgomery, Alabama today. Here 5-0 in the season, number one team in the country. Bethune, Cookman has started off this season in conference play at 2-0 so far. They've had a good start to the season compared to what they look like in previous seasons. As both teams take the field, we are looking to get another win. We're looking to add on to our win column. Being profiled today is Deadpool. William Wade, Wilson the Merchant with the arm. Been pretty inconsistent so far this season, but we're looking to turn that around as we take on the Bethune Cookman Wildcats. And of course, Lee Corso and Kirk, Kirk Street got us winning this game. So there goes Brad Simmons. He's a pocket passer, 84 overall, a red shirt senior. So he does have a good arm, 6'4", 221. So let's see what they do on offense. Travis Hill, left outside linebacker, junior, run stopper, 84 overall, 82 speed. That gives you a hint, he is hell on the run. Brad Jones, the former Alabama State Hornet, 85 overall as a red shirt junior, 93 speed. He has one more year of eligibility. Brad Jones has to make the most out of his red shirt junior season as well as his senior season if he's talking about popping up on Madden. Speaking of which, there he goes right there on the kick return. Oh, we found open field. Oh, we dropped the ball. There goes Greg Garcia. Greg Garcia starting off where he left off from last week. And just like that, we're on offense already. So here goes Alabama State. There goes the first flag of the day. And that looked like an incidental face mask on Bethune Cookman. What a start for Alabama State. Brad Jones fumbled the ball. And we got the ball on offense. Steve Rucker once again taking the handoff. And he gets inside the 20 yard line. We already in the red zone. Not even a minute off of this game yet. There he goes up the middle. Tommy Chavez making that catch. His first catch of the ball game. It's third and goal now at the eight yard line of Bethune could be. We pop it to Tommy Chavez. Touchdown Alabama State. A great start to the game. That happened so fast. Brad Jones fumbled on the kick return. We get the ball deep in Bethune Cookman territory, and now we're up seven to nothing. So here goes the Wildcats on offense. So as you see, they're sticking the character despite the fact that they have a pocket passer. They're gonna keep running that football. That is a damn shame and a waste of talent. Third and eight now at their own 30 yard line. Brad Simmons steps back the pass, he pops it, and that pass is caught by Jackson. We thought we had a chance to pick that off, but that was thrown right on the money. So here they go again. There goes Buster Rounds Brown, number 56, making that tackle. Second and 14 at their own 44-yard line. Another handoff, and they give it to Schmidt, and Schmidt got popped by Grant Garcia in the backfield. Third and 17 now. Simmons with all the pass on the pressure. He throws it. It's picked off. Jason Reed, the strong safety, gets it inside the 30-yard line. And once again, we get the ball. In good field position in Bethune Cutman territory. We are back in action on offense. So here we go at the Wildcat 28 screen pass right here. There goes Hamilton that's going nowhere. Great job by Cooper taking that down. Second and 13 now. Deadpool steps back, rolls out to the left. He goes up the middle. Kevin Humphreys is wide open. Touchdown Alabama State. Kevin Humphrey once again. The true freshman out of Bryan, Texas. Six foot nine. Weighs just under 200 pounds. The man has a bright future here in the Gulf Town as an Alabama State Hornet. We're looking to add him more to this offense because Sheldon Green and Chad Hamilton continue to be inconsistent. Be on the lookout for that. Wildcats at their own 22 now. Look at Schmidt running over somebody. But then Jason Reed took him down our strong safety. Second and two, not the 30. There goes the handoff and that's Schmidt. And he got taken down by the face mask by Grant Garcia. We're going to attack on 15 right here. That was very violent. Now, Grant Garcia has done a great job this season getting into the backfield. He might make some money doing that in the future. We'll find out. But that just wasn't where to go right there as Grant Garcia redeemed himself with that tackle in the backfield. Second and 16 now. 
There goes Simmons stepping back to pass. Simmons has all day to throw. He pops it. And the pass is caught by Douglas. They're inside the Hornet 25-yard line. Great catch by Douglas. Take that back. That's the 24. So there goes the handoff again to Jackson. This time there goes Ryan Anderson coming in from the nickel back spot. Making that tackle. Second and nine now. Look at that. Schmidt tackle. They're still trying to get something up the gut. But it hasn't been there all first quarter. So after one, we we're up 14 and nothing over Bethune Cutman. They're 3-2 on the season, and they're driving right now. Third and 11 now. Brad Simmons under some pressure. He pops in, and that pass is dropped. Nice Douglas dropped the ball. He had a chance to get his team inside the 10, but instead they have to settle for a field goal. It is now 14-3 in favor of Alabama State. So now here we go on offense. There goes the play fake. Deadpool steps back to pass. Deadpool's going downfield. It's Brad Jones versus Tommy Chavez, and Tommy Chavez prevails. Tommy Chavez just beat his former teammate on the deep goal route. It's second and ten now. We're in Wildcat territory. We're going up the middle. To Sean and Gray, he makes the catch and tries to bully his way to the goal line, but a great catch. I'm just happy he held on to the ball. We give it to Steve Bostic, and he bullies his way into that end zone. Touchdown, Alabama State. The Mississippi native makes it 21-3 in favor of the number one team in the country, the Alabama State Hornets. Look at Brad Simmons, one of the slowest quarterbacks in the nation. Straight stiff forming our guys. That is a damn shame. Second and one now at their own 19-yard line. Brad Simmons is blicking. Grant Garcia is blicking too. And he's not fooled on that play, ladies and gentlemen. Grant Garcia having an excellent day right now. There's nothing he can't do on defense. Third and seven now. They pop it. There goes Charles Alexander, who's taking the place of Aaron Landrum, who is out for the next 10 weeks. So the Wildcats are forced to punt, waiting for that. Is Chad Hamilton looking to add on to this touchdown tally? We didn't get much on that one. So here goes the play fake. There goes Deadpool stepping back to pass. Looking for Tommy Chavez. Oh, it was overthrown. It was overthrown. He was wide open too. So there goes Brooke Thompson on the halfback direct. First down and more. We are inside Wildcat territory. There goes Wade Wilson once again, popping it up the middle. And that pass is caught by Chad Hamilton. What a catch. And they rolled him in. Touchdown, Alabama State. Chad Hamilton with a great catch. And now we're up 28-3. I believe that is Deadpool's third touchdown pass in this game. And look at Douglas. He caught that, but he couldn't keep two feet in. Well, he, you only need one foot in college football. My bad. Here go the Wildcats punting again. There goes Chad Hamilton up the right side. He has green. And there goes the tackle right there. The EA Sports dive tackle cheese strikes again. Steve Rekobostik tries to make a man miss it. He does, but can't get away from the impact player. A great run nevertheless. Second and one. We go back there. Oh, he fumbled the ball. And thank goodness that Josh Reese jumped on it. That's Steve Rekobostik's third time fumbling this season. We got to do something about that. But there goes Justin Frankie Beverly and Mays. First down for the Hornets. Deadpool rolls out to the right. Nobody's open. He decides to take it himself. He gets decent yarders a gain of six. So here goes a third down situation. The screen pass to Thomas Chavez. He breaks the tackle. He's blicking too. When they're blicking, you know they get all kind of superpowers. First and goal. There goes Lorenzo Harris who got baptized with the holy water. My goodness. Hill was not having it on that plate. So now we do it in the run of Tommy Chavez. And he's blicking. And he gets it to the end zone. Touchdown Alabama State. 35-3 at the half. We are all over the Wildcats. We're straight smoking on that Wildcat pack right now. As we start the second half, we go to Steve Urkel Bostic. We're on offense, by the way. Remember, Bethune Cookman had the ball first in the first half. But then Brad Jones fumbled on the opening kickoff. And there goes Deadpool getting sacked by Poland. Dang. Third and 13, now Deadpool steps back. He's going to fire it. The shoulder green, and he makes that catch. An excellent catch by our wide receiver all the way from California. This time, Steve Huckabasset takes it up the gut and gets popped in the Wildcat territory. First and 10 for the Hornets. At the Hornet 47, we go to Justin Frankie Beverly and Mays, and he finds a gap up the gut. There goes Justin Frankie Beverly and Mays. Touchdown, Alabama State. Justin, Frankie, Beverly, and Mays all the way from Northport, Alabama. The five-star running back, number six in the country, as on once again to his touchdown tally of his freshman year. And they're still trying to do the end around, and that time Daniel Hayes was not having it. Third and 11 now. Brad Simmons steps back. He pops it. Oh, he ran over a defensive lineman. Did y'all see that? He ran over a defensive lineman. 
But thank goodness that Charles Alexander was right there on the coverage. But there goes Chad Hamilton waiting for another punt. This time he's going to take it to the left side past the 40. Inside Wildcat territory, he ran out of real estate. They wasn't having it. So here goes a plate fake right here. Deadpool steps back the pass. He pops it downfield to Kevin Humphrey. That was a bad pass. That wasn't a good pass. So 3rd and 10. Now we go back to Steve Burke on Bosch State. We get nowhere on that play. We decide to go forward on 4th and 9. Deadpool rolls out to the right. Deadpool pops it to Kevin Humphrey. And the pass is better away. Maybe we was better off punting the ball. Great job by Bethune Cookman on defense. There goes Barber. Not getting nowhere right there as Charles Alexander comes in and makes that tackle. So here goes Deadpool. We're back on offense, and this time he finds Thomas your best wide open. The pass was suspect, though. He could have had a touchdown on that pass. First and 10, there goes the play fake as Deadpool steps back the pass, rolls out to the right, pops it downfield for Sheldon Green, and the pass is dropped. A great job by the Bethune Cookman secondary back net ball away. There goes Steve Rekobasa trying to find some crease, but he got nowhere. He did get some manageable yards, some decent yardage. Now we got Frankie Beverly and Mays in the game, and he gets the first down. Justin Frankie Beverly and Mays has a bright future in the black and gold. And at the three, we are up 42 to three. Number one team in the country on the verge of going 6-0 on the season. Deadpool steps back. He pops it up the middle. That's another bad pass by Deadpool. William Wade Wilson has been off all second half. Justin Frankie Beverly and Mays up the middle once again. He has a bright future. I can't wait till it's time to start. And there we go up the middle. And look who it is dropping that ball. Showing the green on fourth down. That is a damn shame, man. We really can't depend on him no more. But we can depend on Grant Garcia as he makes that tackle in the backfield. He's been doing it all season so far. This time, but though Cutman steps back the pass, and that pass looked like it was dropping bad the way I couldn't tell. So here we go once again. We're back on offense. Deadpool steps back and pops it to the left side. And Thomas Chavez just got blown up by Brad Jones, his former teammate. Just got baptized with the holy water, making him drop that pass. So now they bring an all-out blitz. And Deadpool gets hit. But he completes the pass to Thomas Chavez, and he pays the price. Oh, my gosh. That's a head injury that could be a concussion that is not good for us. So now we got Danny Finnerty, the backup quarterback in the game. And he has better accuracy than William Wade Wilson, and he straight fumbled the ball. We need our offensive line to do a better job of picking up the blitzes. Steve Urkel Bostic making two people miss, gets tackled near midfield. And there's a flag on the play. What is this about? That might be another face mask penalty on Bethune Cookman, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is an incidental face mask. We tack on five. We got Frankie Beverly and Mays back in the game. He has to fight his way out of traffic and got baptized with the holy water from behind. Pause. 30 inches now. We go back to Frankie Beverly and Mays, and he gets stopped just near the first down marker. It is now fourth and one. So we decide to go back to our goal line specialist, Lorenzo Harris, who gets the first down for the Hornets. Great job by the running backs facing adversity. Play fake. Finity steps back. He pops it. Kevin Humphries is wide open, and he gets it to the end zone for the second time today. Touchdown, Alabama State. The fans are loving it. They see the backup quarterback is in the game, and he's finally showing his arm. We might have to depend on him the rest of the way this season. I have no idea what the news is on Deadpool right now, but stay tuned. Burrell steps back. The pass, and the pass is caught. Bentley caught it inside the 10-yard line. It's 16 seconds left in this game. The goal is to keep Bethune Cookman out the end zone. Schmidt with the handoff. Schmidt gets tackled. And that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Buster Rhymes Brown on the tackle right there. We do a good job of holding them out the end zone. The Alabama State Hornets are 6 and. What the hell? 6 and 0 on the season. 49 3 win. Deadpool didn't have the best of games. Well, at least he didn't turn the ball over. But he did get injured. We're going to need an analysis on his health soon. The running backs did a good job. We don't have not one person standing out. Everybody is doing a good job. Bostic had 57 yards on 11 carries. 71 yards on 7 carries for Justin Frankie Beverly and Mays. Lorenzo Harris is doing a good job and so is Brooke Thompson. It's not about who can carry the load but about sharing it. We four running backs deep. We can do that now. Tommy Chavez leads the way once again. Kevin Humphrey with the best game of his career. Two catches and two touchdowns. Sheldon Green could be better, but of course he keeps dropping the ball, and so does Chad Hamilton. But he did get a touchdown pass. Kelly McDonald had 12 pancakes in this game, just straight making trips to IHOP. And the defense did the damn thing. 
We didn't get a sack, but we did get a turnover. And, of course, we got a turnover on special teams, which kicked the game off pretty good. Thank you for watching. Join us next time for some highlights around the HBCU world. Peace.